Then again, if he's hiding something in there, blah, 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 maybe he keeps his magic stuff. I wonder which would be better to search. Uh, we are gonna go to his apartment. You know, I've always got the chance to go into that creepy basement. I should take the opportunity while Graves is gone to root around in his apartment a bit. Yep. Like a creeper. I tiptoe past Finley on the second floor, sure she's going to say something to me about where I'm going, but she doesn't look up from her computer. Hey girl, just don't mind me. Wow. It's immaculate. It makes me feel embarrassed about the state of my apartment right now, but whatever. He's probably showing off because he knows people come up here a lot. It's well designed, too. I can make fun of the guy all I want, but I have to admit he has a sense of style, interior decorating-wise at least. And a really weirdly lumpy... I like the cat castle, but his curtain is a little weird. Heck, the cat castle looks downright regal. Yeah, it does. I wonder if Landry built that one. What is up with the branch motif around here? That's another thing I want to know. Like, there's branches everywhere downstairs in here. I don't see any cats in the apartment, but it would make sense that he'd have a setup for them, right? There's probably one in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I see a single suspicious blue eye peeking out at me from inside a cat inside the castle. Is it Graves? The black cat peeks out. It is. Brrr. It is not. Oh, hey there. The cloudy eye belongs to a dark mass of black fur that refuses to move, even though its gaze follows me everywhere I turn. <clears throat> hey, buddy. It's okay. My cat is here. A sleek, plump, a sleek tail thumps in annoyance against the carpeted castle wall. I see you've met the great Countess Dracula. Hi, Graves. Shoot! I've been caught. Be cool, Avery. Play it cool. You named your cat Countess Dracula? Just Dracula. But she's a venerable lady now, so she deserves our respect. She's nearly 19, so I hope you've been taking care with her. That's a pretty good age for a cat. My mother's cat lived to be in her mid-twenties. She's fucking old. Fucking old. Kinsha will probably live forever. Graves leans forward and pats his hands on his legs. Slowly, Dracula pulls herself from the castle and hops down. She looks good for her age. She's a tad shy with new people, but she's great. We've been through a lot together. Graves sits on the couch and holds his hand in front of him with an almost unexpected gentleness. Come here, you sweet old lady. Dracula saunters a little bow-legged walk up to him and headbutts his palm. <coughs> Hello, darling. I can hear her purring from here. I'm taken aback by how cute they are together. I don't think you'll find what you're looking for here, but, I, but you're welcome to stay for a while regardless. I feel ter terrible that we haven't been able to chat since you started. I wasn't looking for anything. You're a terrible liar, you know. Yeah. Alright, so maybe I was kind of curious. Aha! Well, I'm here now if you have any questions. I'm sorry his accent is very good today. How do you ask someone if they're a witch anyway? Hey, are you a witch? Seems a bit. I don't know about that. I know there's something weird about this cafe. Well, I'd be very insulted if you said anything less about the cafe that I designed. I prefer weird. What do you know about this curse business? His eyes flicker for a moment, cold and fiery, before he turns them back towards Dracula. We are all cursed in our own ways, Avery. Ooh, is that a hint? There are some instances where you must be your own savior. I will if you don't if you won't help me. You're a strong one. I like that. Hell or high water, I'm gonna stick it to graves and get this dumb curse lifted for everybody. How about that? Well, let the best be headed back out. Out to where? You were I mean you just snuck back in here, dude. I need to make a few rounds before I pick up dinner. Did you know I was coming back up to your apartment? Did you like follow me? Like you're just hiding. You'll join us, won't you? Like I'm gonna pass up free dinner. Ha, huh, of course. Kinchu agrees. He stands up from the couch and lightly ruffles my hair as he passes me. You're a sharp one, Avery. I'm glad you joined my employ. 
Well, you're keeping me busy for sure. Snooping on your business. And he's already gone. How the heck did he leave so quickly? I better get back downstairs. The others might be wondering if I fell asleep or something. I mean, they must have seen him come and go unless he has a back door. I drift from person to person, helping everybody with what they're doing while for a while, but eventually the urge takes over. I just want to play with cats. Yeah, I understand. That is a strong urge. Sansuke gets all excited when I bust out the bell toy. I guess I'd be excited too. Owl gets messed up on the catnip toy, as you do. Now is swatting his own tail, but I think the tail might be winning. One of my cats does that. He totally chases his tail and like plays with his tail. It's adorable. Valentine is rolling around kicking at nothing in the air. Seems to be having plenty of fun without me. Marie Marina chases the feather on the string all the way up to the platform. I wish I had that much energy. And then they all start taking naps. And that seems... Snoozing, snoozing. Will someone please exhume Avery from that pile in the corner? Yes, please. Uh? I jump with a start. Jump and start. When did I fall asleep? Good morning, sleepyhead! Why is there a garland on my head? In fact, I seem to be covered in cat toys. What the heck? We tried to wake you up with catnip? What is all this? Finley. What? I just put a mouse on there to see if you'd wake up. And when you didn't, I put another. And another. Oh, sorry, that's Reese. And another. And another. I got some really cute pictures of it. Oh my god, don't put those on the blog. Why would I ever do that? I fling a catnip mouse at Finley as hard as I can. It ricochets off her head. Ha <laughs> ha, ow! Hey! Okay, okay. That won't go on the blog. Good. Today? No! Finley, Finley, be nice. All of you stop distracting from the matter at hand. Dinner has arrived. I thought we were, you were actually going to make dinner, not just order takeout. We usually order takeout on off days. It's a nice change of pace to try some other restaurants around here. I suppose. And there are fewer dishes to wash. That's true. The cuisine du jour is brought to us by the Thai restaurant down, downtown you also enjoy. Avery, I believe you will be experiencing their splendor for the first time tonight. What did you get? You didn't ask me what I wanted from the menu. I did, actually. You mumbled something about pad thai and rolled over on top of a bunch of cat toys. Well, I mean, that's what I would have wanted anyway, so I guess my subconscious is looking out for me. I look over to the tables and it looks like they've pulled them all together into one long row again. Takeout boxes pile up in the center of the table, and of all places, and all the places have already been set. Bon appetit, my dear employees. And the pack descends on the takeout boxes. After some sorting, we're all settled in, in with our respective food, and we sit down for dinner. Graves takes a seat at the head of the table. Well, he claims it in, in name, but he's hardly sitting in it at all. When he's not flitting between us and offering us drinks, he's standing behind his chair, telling a story. A grand and grand graves gesture as you'd imagine. Don't mind the background noise as my wash is going. When I was in college, none of you would have recognized me. What, did you take a break from your goth phase? You go grunge for a while? I would never break my style. And then what a style it is. No, in fact, if anything, I suppose you could say I was more goth then. Is that possible? I had long black hair and wore such elaborate makeup. Well, you know, you look good with more makeup. It's fine. Guys wearing makeup is fine. If anything, it sounds more on brand than you are right now. Why stop? You can't imagine how much time it took from my day. Oh my gosh, yeah. I have a business to run now after all. That's why I don't wear makeup very often because it takes forever and it's such a pain and then you have to wash it all off at the end of the day. Dad showed me a photo once. 
one of you and your bandmate? Who? The guy with the mohawk. I don't know how he got such a huge hawk. Ah, yes. It was pure witchcraft, that hair. Hint, hint. He's doing that on purpose, isn't he? With the witch jokes? Wait, wait. You were in a band? Are you really surprised by that, Landry? Come on. Everybody was in a band in the 90s. That's pretty much true. I wasn't, but... I don't recall that stereotype, but yes. I was, in fact, in a band. I bet it was called, like, Masters of Night or something like that. No, Avery, it was not. I, I thank you to give me more credit than that. Um, no. Nah, more like Nighty Nightshade. Or Dark Carousel. No, no. Or Sorrows of Blood. Et tu haze. You are all so cruel. You have to tell us the real name or they'll keep going. I refuse to further enable this slander. It was Spider Coven with an X. With an X. Zipper Coven? Reese! How do you spell spider with an X? Goth willpower. <laughs> You're kidding me! Look at that face. That is the face of disbelief. They had a song that was called something like Rose Baptism. I only remember the parts that weren't in French, but... No, 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 no. Ahem, it went something like... No, no, this is traitorous. My own pupil betrays me. Ahem. Tap, trap within my own mind. Something, something in French. My will dissolves into blood. The soul's red rind. Life is but a march toward death. Right, Graves? Graves isn't listening to us anymore. He's pacing around and mumbling in agony. How do you know all this, Reese? Graves and my dad went to college together. He went to their shows. He met your mother at one of them, if I recall. You have me to thank for your very existence, my boy. That's not creepy at all. Ugh, don't put it like that. Everybody's laughing and having a good time, even Graves is being a good sport. This is nice. I wonder how long they've been working together. They're like a big family. Graves is a lot more charming than I thought. Look at that cat. Still hanging there all night long. He knows how to work a crowd, at least. I'm starting to get it. I guess this is nobody's, uh, nobody's mad at Graves, even though they're all going through this weird nonsense. He's kind of like everybody's weird but benevolent uncle. We all chat over dinner, then coffee, and before I know it, the sun is totally gone. How long have we been doing this? Um, till night? Shoot, I better get home and feed Mochi before he sh throws a fit. He gets real passive-aggressive when he's fed late. My cat, Kinshu, who you've been hearing, gets regular aggressive when she's fed late. She's so crabby. It is quite late. I'll take care of all the dishes on Sandri, so please relax and prepare yourselves to face the day tomorrow. Yeah, I guess we better get going, huh? Hmm later mason's already headed out the back she barely even turns her head when she waves goodbye all right everybody see you tomorrow all right well i guess we're gonna save here and uh i'll see you next time or in a couple minutes